Hey guys, Kevin here. I thought I would do something a little bit different in this video. As you know, my channel mainly focuses on technology, gaming, computing, cameras, that kind of thing. And I've been doing this channel for a few years now, but I have been reviewing for much longer than that. I've been working online since 2000. I've been a blogger for more than 10 years. And before that, I was writing reviews for older websites that I had. I used to do product reviews. And you know, pretty much on a weekly basis, I review products and services on my blog, and I've been doing it for a long time. Now, here's the thing. To be a good reviewer, you have to remain impartial. You need to see what's good, and you need to see what's bad. You know, there's always the temptation to, you know, maybe be a little bit positive or give something an overly positive uh, review in the hope of seeing an extra commission or in the hope of pleasing the advertiser, you know, perhaps if they've paid for the review. But you kind of shoot yourself in the foot if you do that. I've seen a lot of bloggers do that and it's stupid. It really is short-sighted because at the end of the day, reviews should always be for the end user. It should be for your audience, whether it be your blog readers or whether it be your YouTube subscribers. And this is something I want to talk about in another video because it's... Um, you know, there's a couple of services out there that basically buy reviews. So I want to expand upon that in another video, perhaps in a few days' time. What I want to do is talk about a, an incident that happened this week. Now, I didn't want to talk about that company ye again, uh, but there was a comment today from One Narrow Door. He left a comment and he was just talking about how he noticed that all the videos about ye have got a huge amount of dislikes. So he said that the dislikes will be coming from ye employees. And when I looked at my videos, you know, he's 100% right. Essentially, you know, I've done a few videos about ye, about the 4K Plus, and, you know, they didn't send the action camera. You know, it's like five, six weeks later. They're refusing to give me a refund. They're just a terrible company, giving no support. And... It looks like they've paid their staff or they've told their staff to give my videos a negative, um, you know, a dislike, a thumbs down. Now, I can understand why they're doing it, I guess. They went through and all my videos that were, you know, about the announcement, that were positive about the E 4K+, Plus. it looks like they've given, given those videos a thumbs up. All the videos recently where I told, told people, listen, this company is pretty dodgy, don't order from them direct, directly. Order from Amazon if you're going to order. They're giving me a huge amount of thumbs down. Now, you know, my videos aren't perfect. I know that. You know, I, I do get dislikes from time to time. Some videos get more dislikes and sometimes the dislikes are more than uh, the thumbs up. It's not something I, I'm, I'm overly concerned about, if I'm honest. But um, it does look like they, they've been on this negative social uh, media PR campaign against me so that their videos aren't ranked. They don't want anyone to search for the e 4 k Plus and finding out that they've screwed over hundreds or maybe perhaps even thousands of customers that they're not sending out um, action cameras to the people that bought them, that they're giving customers fake tracking codes and things like that. Now, I've exp I've talked about all that before. I'm, I'm not why I talk about that. I really just want to say to ye and to any other company who, who does this kind of thing, in fact, I won't even say it. I'll just do it. That's for you. Really, because... See for, see for YouTubers to give good reviews, we need to look at the good things and the bad things. I don't care if my, you know, my monetization tanks down to zero. I don't care if I get nothing but thumbs down, dislikes for, for the rest of time. I don't care. When I get a product, if it's good, I say it's good. If it's bad, I'll say it's bad. Uh, those of you who have been on my channel for a while, I talked about how bad the experience was with HP with getting my laptop fixed. But I also talked about how good the experience was with Microsoft. I'm, I've not got any allegiance to either of, of those companies. I don't care. All, I'm, all I did was, you know, just give my opinion and, and just tell you guys what happened. It was good with Microsoft. It was bad with HP. Now, that's not going to be the case with everyone else. But you're going to, as a YouTuber, you're always going to get companies pushing you, trying to push you to do you know, what they want you to do. They want you to give, a, give them a positive review. They want you to always say that their product is amazing. And, you know, generally speaking, I think it, it is important to try and give constructive criticism, take things into consideration, you know, if it's a new company, things like that. But when a company is treating customers like crap, they should be called out for it. You know, they should be. And I don't care how much they spend on Twitter or 
you know, Facebook campaigns and all that and all their flashy banners and logos. At the end of the day, if they treat customers like crap, then customers need to stand up and then tell them that it, that they suck. That's it. So, ye, you can dislike as many of my videos as you want and that goes for any other uh, company out there. If I get sent a product and it sucks, I'm going to say it sucks and deal with it. And um, I want to expand about this, you know, expand on this topic in another video because there are companies like Famebit, etc. And what they do is they'll pay you for an, an endorsement and they don't want a negative endorsement. Now, I'll touch upon that in another video, but really this was just, you know, just to tell you guys how it is. I don't like companies like that doing that, you know, as far as um, the way they handle business. But it's, it's kind of pathetic really when you think about it. This is all they can do. If they focused all their energy on providing good customer service to customers rather than worrying about things like that, then the company would be in a better position. But they seem to be worried more about, you know, trying to kill the rankings of anyone who criticizes them. And I think all companies should be, you know, should be aware of the fact that the internet allows people, allows consumers to say something is bad when it is bad. So whether it's Sony, whether it's GoPro, whether it's Apple, whether it's Microsoft, if something's bad, you need to say it's bad. So I'll put it over to you guys. I, I really don't want to talk about you anymore. <laughs> I really do. I'm getting to the point and despise the company. There's been weeks and they're still refusing to give me a refund. They're not answering messages. So yeah, sorry ye, but um, if, if you continue to be a bad company and give bad service, I'm going to keep criticizing you. Uh, I'll touch upon this in another video, guys. I, I know it's not tech-related, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on this, especially if you are a YouTuber yourself. I'm sure even if you're just a YouTube viewer, you do experience this problem because there's a lot, probably a lot of guys you subscribe to who say something is excellent simply because, you know, they've been paid a commission or they've been, you know, handed a little bit of money. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. I think that was Forrest Gump's uh, trademark line, wasn't it? Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.